Hey guys, Sean Mahaffey, Accurate Roofing and Masonry. Uh, we're working on the lower part of uh, this wall that, on the corner of the garage that got hit by the uh, garbage truck. So it hit it at the bottom and then it hit it at the top. So we rebuilt the top first because that was kind of the hard part. And now we're just throwing these bricks back into the corner here. Um, <clears throat> we're not sure about our mortar color just yet. We've made a couple of different rounds just to see what kind of hits the middle. Um, looking at this garage, it's been tuck pointed a couple of times. Uh, so we're, we're trying to hit some kind of color that's sort of in the, in the middle. Um, so the mud that we're using right now, this mud here, isn't the right color. Um, so we'll take a raking tool and we'll rake it back out. And, um, and then as soon as we, as soon as I like the color I've got, I'll, um, We'll come back. We'll come back through, and we'll, we'll we'll probably do a little grinding out around this, and then tuck point it back, so that it doesn't look like this weird repair right on the corner. But uh, I figured maybe I just shoot a little video of how you put a corner back together. Um, I I would say you know corners are are fairly easy, just because um, there's only so much you can do. You know, you have to stay with this wall and with this wall. Uh, this corner's definitely a little bit wavy, uh, but we will we'll put it back in such a way that uh, it doesn't really stand out. Um, so, so you lay a bed joint, right? So you throw your mud in, you lay a bed joint. Um, typically, we'll come back with our trowels and kind of go down the middle of it like that and catch your excess um, and you know we've got used brick we had to go to Mendoza and find some brick that matched um, we don't want to butter all the way out to the end of the brick because we're gonna grout the outer part of it so I'm gonna back butter so that when this goes in the wall the mud's not here because I'm gonna put a, a colored grout on the inside um, so you're gonna lay this brick into here into that slot you got a brick above it what I like to do is butter the top of the brick um, we make our mortar now this is a lime based mortar so we made it uh, this morning uh, I make it I like to make my mortar a little rich or, or a little stickier um, so you take your brick and you put it in, minding where your corner is, right? And you can, you know, the reality is most of the time, I'm not really using a level to do this kind of stuff. Um, I mean, I've been laying brick for a while, so that's, you know, maybe not something that you can do. But if you have a, tr uh, a level, and you know, this is restoration where it's old houses, you know, this is a very nice level. Uh, it's a nicer level than the brickwork that I usually get to do. So um, most of the stuff we're doing is, is patching in here and there. But uh, so really you just need a good straight edge. Um, and you use that and you use your eyeball. And then you also got to mind that, you know, you're coming in to get to this brick. So the wall is, is out and it needs to come back in. So every course we're kind of pulling it back in so that these so that when we get to here this brick here is going to be lined up um, so we can check here and we can check here so here i can do something about this i can kick this brick in a little bit right get it in now i've got this cavity here so you take a little mud on the tip of your trowel, back butter. Um, I'm gonna throw in this guy right here. So I'll, um, I'll back butter just a little on that. This part's covered. So let's butter the top of that brick. And then uh, the other nice thing about having stickier mud is it's gonna hold when you do stuff like this. If your mud isn't sticky, you put it on here, it's gonna fall off and hit the ground. So you want your mud in a certain way, it's a little easier to work with. So we throw this guy in here, right? 
And, and you can almost level these things when you set them in place, really. You can use your hands, you know, what masons do is that we use our hands to feel from this brick to this brick to see if we're high or low or where we need to be. We just have to be kind of close doing this kind of stuff. We're just trying to put this thing back together. So, you know, it's not about perfection. It's about, you know, doing it in such a way that it's just not as noticeable. Um, we're, we're not going to make this perfect. Um, I mean, not in the short span that we're working in. If we were tearing this all apart and they said, you know, we want it all perfect, you know, it'd be a lot more work, a lot more money. And um, that's not the job here. We're sort of in between restoring and uh, fixing here, okay? All right, so you lay your bed joint, you get a good brick got a good brick you like for the corner this guy's a little darker got a fairly clean end on him right so that's your face and that's your face so you figure out which one is your face um, and then then you can butter up your brick and slot it into place so we'll butter a little bit there because it's gonna lip under we'll back butter uh, the back back half of this brick like that got my partner Waylon shooting video today my 10 year old and uh, yeah let's kick this back remember to kick it back a little bit so we don't have to rake it because otherwise we have to rake it out when, when, after we put it in so you get your brick and just hold it while you put it in so try to hold it up actually a little bit now this guy's kicked out right here I can see that coming around the corner this guy so he's shooting off into space that way we don't want that um, so I'm going to come back around to this side and I'm going to tap on this guy until I get him a little more back where I want him. Now, yeah, he's a little loose. <clears throat> We're going to grind this chisel, chisel and or grind these and tuck point these in. So we're going to try to taper in what we're doing here today. Um, yeah, so this guy's, this guy's where he needs to be. This guy's way in from the corner, right? You can see that, that brick to that brick, right? So that's not good. So we want to pull this guy out. Now he's a little bit loose right now. That's okay, okay? Um, I'm going to tap him in this way, tight as I can get him, okay? Bring him in. Um, looking level there, looking okay. A little high here. That's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, but we want to keep checking this, okay? So back down in here, when we put the level on, we were a half inch off of this corner. So that level was going straight up and we were a half inch off this brick. So we've been pulling our bricks back in to try to get back up to, to meet this line here. Um, we're doing the same thing on this side. It's not as bad on this side. So this side's looking pretty good. Um, so you're using your level here, 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 and here, here, here you're using it like a straight edge. And he's out a little bit, okay? Um, but a, a lot of this little stuff, little, you know, ins and outs here and there, you can hide with your tuck pointing. So we'll, we'll, we're just gonna aim him back towards this guy here, uh, call it good. And, uh, and then, again, you know, we've laid some brick. Let's go ahead and rake the mud back, okay? Because uh, we want to have uh, some depth. We want some depth in these joints uh, to tuck point them. So we'll come back with a colored mortar here in probably an hour. And um, we'll grout this in. So I, I dig these back. Right, and now I've got at least an inch, an inch and a half, you know, a good inch on the joint, three quarter, solid three quarter inch to an inch depth on the joint, the bed joint. And then the head joints, I got all kinds of room. And so once I tuck point this in place um, and brush it down, we'll be done for the day. And uh, then all we'll have to do is come back and wash it. So, um, so this is rebuilding the corner right and we built the upper corner we built the upper corner yesterday and uh so yeah we'll keep working on it thanks for watching 
uh, accurate, it's uh, Sean, S-H-A-W-N, at accuratedenver.com. Thank you.